friends, it's Victoria from Victoria Makes. Have you noticed how much tea towels cost? I generally buy my tea towels from designer brands like Cath Kids and Sophie Allport, Whistlefish, but they are quite expensive, aren't they? Usually about £10 upwards each. So I've started making tea towels out of the craft fabric stash that I have at home, and I'll show you some now what I've already made and it's really simple and if you've got some spare fabric at home or you see some fabric that you really like then think about cutting it up and making things out of it. Curtain fabric often is quite nice providing that it's very thick cotton so you need something that's very very porous and will actually absorb the water when you actually dry your pot. So be mindful of the quality of the fabric and try and match it to tea towels that you already have for the quality of the fabric and the absorption of water, that's very important. Um, if you use the wrong sort of fabric, it won't actually dry the pots easily. It might be okay for glassware, but just, you know, it's very important to check the quality for fabric for that use. So I'm gonna show you some that I already made several months ago, and then I'll show you the process. It's so easy, and all you need, really, a cutting board if you've got one, and a rotary cutter, but otherwise you just need a ruler and some dressmaking scissors, a sewing machine and some thread and pins and your chosen fabric. So I hope you find this inspiring and it's a great way of using up a little bit of your fabric stash. And let's get started. So guys, here's some of the tea towels I've already made and this was just a bit of fabric that I made and just turned it over at the seams and voila and that's a tea towel and then another one out of pretty fabric which is really really nice so it's so easy this one was a little bit thin like I mentioned and it wasn't absorbing very well so I use that just now to dry uh, glassware three of those so beautiful fabric but again I didn't really consider the absorption quality of the material so that's very important before you start so We've, we've talked about the, the quality and the thickness and the type of fabric that you need for your tea towels. The next stage is to grab yourself a tea towel of your choice and if you have got a green A1 cutting board, measure it out on there so you know the commercial size of a tea towel. It doesn't have to be the exact size but I generally go on, on this and we'll put it right to this edge and then we know exactly where we are. Allow about one and a half centimetres for your seam allowance and try and mark it off. So this one roughly is about 18 by 25 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it 20 uh, to 20 and that will give me enough to go around the edge, one and a half centimetres, isn't it roughly? Roughly anyway, as I say, you don't have to be absolutely exact, but you want a rough size of a tea towel to be the same as what you would normally buy. Okay, so I'm just going to mark this on my board so I know where I am. So what, what I've done, I've just marked with a bit of tape the area where I want to actually cut it. So I've marked mine off at 20 by 27. So when I put my fabric on, I know now exactly where I'm going. So I don't forget. And then I've got a nice cutting ruler, which makes the job a lot easier, I must say. And obviously my rotary cutter. And I bought this from Hobbycraft in England. And they're so easy, nice and sharp. This is a self heel cutting board that I also got online. You can get them from anywhere online or in Hobbycraft. Um, if you just have a little look. Now, this one's beautiful, this fabric. I don't really know if I really want to cut into it because it's such a beautiful fabric. And I'm just thinking about maybe making a bag or something out of this. But I've got so many bags I've made, you know, I mean, there's only so many things that you want. I think actually I can't cut that, it's just too nice. Do you find that you are attached to things? 
I was, I was listening to a great podcast on hoarding yesterday and I was uh, pleased to know that I, I didn't fit all the criteria for a, a hoarder <laughs> but I think if you um, are a crafter you do tend to stash things away for future use don't you? Right, this is a nice one but it's being about mindful always isn't it? Not to keep everything. That's nice, but that's not big enough for a tea towel. So this one would be perfect for a table runner. Right, so we're going to go on to the next fabric. And this is a really lovely one, and I have used this in the past. I think there is a mark on here somewhere. But this is really lovely and very, yeah, there's a mark in the middle. So I'm okay with that. As there's a, a bit of mark in the middle, I'm okay with this now because it's a pretty fabric. But if you get any mar marks on things, then I think, well, it's all right, we'll cut that up. So you can also look at a, uh, the pattern and see the design and see where you are going to cut that fabric. If you want it centralised when you hang it up as a tea towel, it's very important to look at your, your pattern before you cut it out uh, and see. So this one has got a selfridge on it, so I'm just going to go a little bit above that line, actually, because that will come off anyway, won't it? So if I just fold it over a little bit, we're all right there. I'm going to push this mat up a little bit so you can see a bit better. Let's move my sewing machine. Electricals and plugs. So again, we'll put it up just a bit above. Like so. Bring it down. And this is a good thing about having one of these rules as well because it helps when you cover your board with a lot of the fabric, it helps you know where you are. So line it up on the edge. So that's lined up now, you see, and you wouldn't know exactly where the line was underneath. And then following the line, on the edge of the table, pull. And you just have to go over it a couple of times. And then we'll take it to the edge. Be very careful because when you go back it's very easy Ooh, to go in to your fabric. I've just gone a bit wonky there. Very, very easy just to uh, not get it straight. So there we are. So that's our fabric cut out. And you can do as many of those as you wish. I will cut several of these so that when I sew them, when I get my sewing machine out, I like to do more than one little project. And then what we will do is we'll go all the way around the perimeter and fold it over twice very neatly and then sew all the way around and then you've got your tea towel simple as that and that's you know ten pounds worth and it does the trick so I'll carry on doing that and I'll come back to you shortly on the next stage right then so we've got our fabric cut out and it's a case of now turning all the edges up ready for sewing so with pins just take the selfage and turn it in on itself we've got about one and a half centimeter seam allowance so double up turn it over once what you can do is you can just turn it over once and then zigzag stitch it and then Come back over again with a running stitch after. So we'll just pin it all the way around. If you have an iron handy, this is a good time to iron over the edges so that you get an even strip as well. And I would highly recommend it if you wanted to make these to sell them, but I'm just doing it for a hobby purpose for home. So if you notice that your edge is not being cut exact then this is the time to fold it in fold over your edges and any raw uneven cuts it makes you think you know 
really why pay all that amount of money ten pounds you know for one tea towel I know you can buy tea towels cheaper than that if you shop around but sometimes you get a really lovely piece of fabric that you love and it's nice to make your own right so I've got that all pinned underneath and I'll put the sewing machine on to a zigzag setting so I hope you can see that so I've pinned all the edges round just with the pins and we'll zigzag this over and then we'll repeat that again in a moment sorts of things I mean so long as the fabric is right if you, you know got a dress or a blouse that you know doesn't fit anymore you love the design you know it's ideal don't get rid of it just put it up and make something out of it any sort of project it's good quality cotton and you love the design it's well worth keeping hold of and making some anything from a bag, makeup couch, you can use do reusable these wax covers for your pots using some nice cotton fabric. Right guys so I've measured it all off so it's nice and straight on the board and then it's just a case now of going all the way around the parameter and finishing it off on a running stitch. So change the to run the switch. Go very carefully over the corners where obviously the fabric is quite bulky, otherwise, it could actually make your needle if you're not careful. scissors but I've just uh, not got mine out. Right guys so I'll just show you what it looks like. There. I hope you can see simple little tea towel. Didn't take long did it? So try using up your fabric and making some tea towel. So I hope that's inspired you guys to use your fabric stash and make something. Tea towels are ideal, aren't they? Um, so as I said before, you could do all sorts with this fabric, but test it out first to make sure it's okay. What you could also do is buy some beeswax from your local honey farm and cut out a, a large plate shape out of the fabric and cover it with the beeswax. There are the methods online. I might be doing one of those tutorials shortly. So please put in the comments if you'd like to see that and I'll do one for you. And that's a great way of using up fabric stash as well. So if you've got quite a lot of the same sort of fabric, you could do all sorts with kitchen, couldn't you? So you could make your tea towels, you could make a table runner, you could make the beeswax covers. I also make a little curtain to cover the dishwasher, the same fabric and then if you've got a dining kitchen you could make a couple of um, matching cushions. If you've got a lot of the same fabric it's great to make different things to bring the whole look together. Um, so yeah, I can do another video on that if you'd like. So just leave a comment in the box below to see 
if there's anything that you'd like me to make then I'll try and uh, make that with you in another video tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and please subscribe if you haven't already done so and thank you if you have. And yeah, I'll be doing some more videos in the future using up fabric scraps. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye now.